What's going on YouTube? Giusno right here. So in today's video I have even more great news for those of you waiting for a full jailbreak on iOS 12 with Cydia and all that jazz. So Uncover received even more updates regarding the remount for the root file system and it can now do more things on iOS 12. But before we get into that, let me show you what Jake managed to achieve. He said, quote, I successfully bypassed the AMFID integrity checks, so now I can use the same method I used with XPC proxy to load a fake AMFID. However, for some weird reason, the payload is ignored when I execute it from libxec in USR, but it works from var. Well, MFID is pretty much Amphi daemon or Apple Mobile File Integrity daemon, which is the userland counterpart of Amphi or Apple Mobile File Integrity. It handles the verification for code sign and for the entitlements and so on. It's a very important part in the jailbreaking, and of course, we do have to get past it because this is pretty much one of the players who would kill us if we want to run our unsigned code, so we do have to debilitate AMFID somehow. So yeah, this is pretty much one of the good things that happened, but leaving this alone for a moment, Pound to Own updated the Uncover, and he said, quote, Uncover version 3.0.0 beta 23 was released to enable rootfs restore on iOS 12. So following yesterday's big event, when we got finally a remount for iOS 12, that would work, that was a very important component, and we finally have it in Uncover, Pound own continuous the surprises with more updates to the Uncover towards a full jailbreak on iOS 12. At this moment in time, Uncover is the only jailbreak that has a proper remount on iOS 12, because of course if you take Jake James's jailbreak into consideration, that one doesn't have a remount, so you cannot write to the file system, you can only write to var, you cannot modify the system files that you may want to modify. So this is a huge step towards the uh, actual proper jailbreak for iOS 12. With this in mind, we can now finally install Cydia and all that jazz, because Cydia has to be installed in slash applications, which is a path that we wouldn't have normally without a remount, because it's read only. So now we can do that, and now we also have the rootfs restore, which is a function that would clean up the file system for you. He also followed it up with this, quote, the root file system remount is safe as long as you make sure that you have no downloaded OTA update in the storage settings before you attempt it. Now this is important because if you do have an OTA update, there were cases where people bootlooked their device to the point they had to pretty much update to the latest version because of that. So if you do have an OTA update or simply an iOS update and it's pending to be installed, please go to the settings into the storage settings in there and remove the iOS 12 update that you have before trying to run Uncover on iOS 12. If you don't, you will screw up the device. So yeah, a very important warning and I wanted to make sure that you do have it in this video so that you know before running. And of course that would apply even after the jailbreak is finally fully released, so you should keep that in mind. Do not keep any OTA updates in the storage settings. Once you run the Uncover, it would disable the updates automatically. The problem is before you run it for the first time. So that's where the risk is. Now he also posted, quote, Uncover version 3.0.0 beta 22 and later can also properly disable app revokes on iOS 12 now. So we're moving towards a full jailbreak slowly but surely. So what this app revokes thing does? Well, if you remember, you have the Ignition, App Valley and so on, which have those third party applications, plus plus apps and so on. Now naturally, sometimes Apple comes in and they revoke the certificates used to sign those applications and you can no longer use those apps. You have to download them again and so on. Now with this function in Uncover, once you run Uncover once, it will block Apple from pretty much revoking those certificates, so your plus plus applications will work indefinitely. So that's a very good function. Aside from that, it disables the iOS updates and so on, so you're pretty much safe on iOS 12. Now if you want to test the latest Uncover with the remount and all that jazz, you can go ahead in here on the releases and scroll all the way down in here and you will have the Decimus IPA. You can sideload that with CD Impactor, which is available for both Windows and Mac OS, and of course Linux as well, and you will be able to run it on iOS 12. However, please do keep in mind that only A9, A9X, A10, A10X, and A11 devices are supported. This means that A12 devices are not supported for the moment, and neither are the older ones like the iPhone 6 and 5S for the moment, so yeah, you should keep that in mind for now. Anyways, that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, we're moving fastly towards a proper jailbreak for the iOS 12 with Cydia and all that jazz, so do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, we'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community, I am Gios9, 
Crypto. Until the next time, peace out.